Okay, you're in. So am I, I think. Got all three strings up and running. We got a carnival right back there. The music's too loud. If my camera's blurry, doesn't look too blurry. You know what the score is. Just tell me in the chat. I mean, you'll be able to see the chat right there too. So if somebody else chats, you can see what they say too. That doesn't matter if they see it on uh, Ron Perry channel on YouTube, Just Another Scale Modeler on YouTube, or Just Another Scale Modeler on Twitch. And my voice doesn't sound all that good right now because the microphone is right there behind me. I like that. Finally, my finger points the right way. <laughs> so, cheers. I hope you have some things to say. If not, watch along because I'm going to be building here. We're going to uh, figure out some things about this boardwalk here. We're going to talk a bit more about the Ferris wheel. And we're going to show you a model that uh, I got a while back, or that I made a while back. I scratch built that little circus there and got a couple of those parts off somebody who really didn't have, you know what I, you know what I said about the barter deals and custom modeling. Budget runs out before you get to the end, and if they want it finished, they start bartering. So, there's that. Well, we're not working on that today, it's just sitting on the layout. We're working over here. Mike, fix this bugger up. Okay, so we've got uh, Old Bay District 1 still set up to the side over there, and it's only being, it's only set up at the moment. I'm going to turn around here, I don't need to look at the camera. You should have something better to look at though, shouldn't you? around with this for a second just so I can see what the limitations of our art form are. It really is. Okay. So let's get rid of you. Put you up.
Welcome to the call tonight, or the stream, what have you. I'm building on Old Bay District 2. I'm going to have my back turned to the chat. So I'm going to be turning around to see what you all have to say. Thanks for being here, CB. If you, uh, we only have one person in on the call right now. So if you, if you feel like sharing it, go for it. Maybe on Google Plus or uh, Facebook or wherever you go. Maybe you got a forum. I don't know. You don't have to. I would be like, uh, you know, the tricycle. You know, the tricycle. <laughs> Cheers. Hope the music's not too loud for you. Installed another 10 feet of sub row bed to my layout. Right on. Some blanks, a blank slate. I gotta find a fairly big brush here because I'm gonna show you a great technique for taking care of a blank slate real quick. Like. I just using a brush like this. this it's kind of small, but it's pretty big. Streaming. What? I'm streaming. You, they can hear you. On the laptop? No, it's on my laptop. Oh yeah. Sorry, my friends, but my daughter comes first. What you gotta do, you're about to run out of uh, stuff, so a good way to do it is to. No, actually, we gotta go to drive and we gotta log out. So, how do you log in with Google? I don't know. Yeah. So I have to put like my password or like Yeah, it'll tell you. The password or the other? Thing? No, your 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 school login details is what we're adding. Like the .org thing. Uh. Or like my password. Pat your your login name and password. Doors wide open over there. Is it working? What is it? Awesome. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I do that with scripts with people when I'm making videos. Does it work? Yeah. Rock and roll. Oh my gosh, we got... Hey Ron, how you doing? How's that weld bond working for you? Hi. Jesse says hi. <clears throat> cool land. Hi, how you doing? The whole layout is a blank slate. I have not installed track yet. Wow. CB. And being a craftsman kit builder, I can't wait to see what you build. Holy smokes. Yeah, you got that right, cool hand. Or cool land. I'm sorry. Is it or is it coolin'? I'm all, I'm always wrong at first, so I gotta go with the second one. Unless you tell me the first one's right. <laughs> now I changed a little picture in picture there to a second camera. So if you want to see something special, let me know. Let me get it in the view of what we're doing, really. I want to uh, start mucking with this uh, boardwalk. So I just like to put a little bit of uh, paint on my brush. We're gonna get these structures out of the way because they got glue windows. And get this untreated board out of the way because we don't want to get water on untreated wood. Otherwise it gets fat. And we're gonna put water down. We gotta move our Ferris wheel back. That garbage, garbage. So we put water down and that makes it so our paint will spread right out and you can't do that with any other let me see don't touch that <laughs> yeah, you have to activate that because you're part of the school administration. Right on. So when you want to log in, uh, so we're logged into my account. So we press the hamburger menu. Yeah. Then we go over here. You're welcome. So, with when you spray your wet water, this is water with a little bit of dish soap in it. It allows you to take your paint and just spread it out like crazy. And I just want to do this as a base coat of paint on top of the foam so I don't have to look at the white. If you've seen my videos before, it's I think it's a buzzkill. I hate looking at the white. It's terrible. So there's many layers of colors and textures that go on top of this paint and for the most part your average Joe or your average professional who does things by the book will tell you you don't have to do that but the thing is is that when I build a project I start with a simple idea I don't start with this grand idea of what's gonna happen I'm going with the premise that the idea is gonna grow in my mind and uh, you know things are gonna change it's gonna be dynamic so that's where these two layouts join all this right here is going to be water I have to come up with a way to uh, 
Well, I think I'm going to use a uh, heavy construction paper. I'm going to put uh, a little ledge along the break wall there so that I can glue my paper to it. And then bring it out and glue using the... I'm going to use normal glue back here. And then I'm going to use that uh, urethane, polyurethane glue, the foaming stuff, to glue the paper to the foam over here. Well, you never know. I might use the polyurethane for the whole thing. This polyurethane stuff, uh, you know, let's just be, let's not beat around the bush. When you're gluing glass to metal, you pretty much can't do it with anything. It's really, really, really hard. But if you use this polyurethane glue, Gorilla Glue came out with it first, but LePage is coming out with the cheaper version. This will glue glass to the most unusual objects ever. So, I'm going to use that to, to glue my paper to my foam to make sure it's solid and there forever. Let's check the chat. We are building a diorama, Dylan. And hello, Alexander. So we're building a diorama, Dylan. If you, uh, actually, I don't think I have other videos on the channel just yet of what we're, of of this. Actually, I can turn this camera around and show you this side. This is the style of, uh, modeling that I do. Let me turn on some lights over there because it's getting dark here. And I got, I didn't plan this out too well. I got cables in the way. showing so far it looks like we have 10 people on the call if you are from somewhere unique or special let us know if you haven't said where you're from before tell us where you're from it's an important thing to me I want to cater to the entire world and if you're from somewhere that I've never seen before I'd love to be able to put a peg on the map the map that we don't have yet but we're going to have a map sometime. It's going to be there for sure. So I have a funny story. A little inside baseball story for you. ITLA kit. I talked to uh, Nick Masny tonight on the phone. Ron? And Alexander Brazil? Awesome. Uh, Alexander, if you look at my channel Just Another Scale Modeler, I interviewed a modeler named uh, Ivandro Lima from Brazil last year or the year before that, but he's an awesome modeler. 
I model pe I interview people from all over the world, talented modelers from all over the world. So I just want to paint up to where I think this road's going to go. made one video about the placement of the items on this uh, boardwalk but I, I noticed that I was trying to cut into I had at first it planned out to have my boardwalk but right up to the Old Bay District 1 over here however <coughs> I don't want to do that I kind of want to bring the boardwalk over here a little bit and have a little spot over here that's just a, you know, an in-between area. It really doesn't have anything going on there. Just, it might be, it's just a spot for some dead, some, some old field to go in there with some junk. Uh, so let's get back to that inside story because it totally had something to do with Well, actually I shouldn't say that So I was contacted uh, earlier this week by Ken Patterson He was trying to pick my brain about this uh, patreon thing So uh, I told him what I know but then in the background he said you know, I, I got uh, Michael Gross on my show once, and I said, yeah, that's cool. Michael Gross donated to a project of mine once, and uh, he said, you know who I'd like to get on my show is Rod Stewart. So, uh, through the grapevine, I, I'm not saying I have contact to Rod Stewart. I do not have contact to Rod Stewart. You don't, and, and the thing is, is nobody contacts Rod Stewart directly. But what I do have is a contact to somebody who knows Rod Stewart's handler. That person's name's going to be re renamed nameless, but it's uh, I sent off an email. We sent off an email tonight to try to get Rod Stewart on Ken Patterson's show. You know, if you, you know, it doesn't matter all the time if you do something. You, like, you can't go out there and do something because you're going to get something back. If you're going to do something, you might as well do it because for the, the, the benefit of the hobby or, you know, for people having fun. I don't have much of this stuff left. It's a, uh, it's basic house paint from a hard from a hardware store. But it just got colored to look like it's it's concrete paint. I think I'm going to make my brake wall out of straight foam with, uh, with pieces of wood glued to the outside. So my first step is to really just paint my brake wall a good concrete color. I'm going to move it away from this. And I realize it's going to take a couple of layers because I'm, I'm painting it really mucky up. Good question, Ron.
Right on, Alexander. Uh, so, I don't know which one. I should turn this one. So down here at the end, I'm going to put rocks because what I'm going to, I want to do is I want to take my Ferris wheel and I'm going to have it come out over the water on pilings so that it's, it's kind of out on the water but there's all kinds of pilings around and stuff like that and then we're gonna have rocks all around that and at the end here we might actually have a little beach or something I don't know maybe another boat launch but there's gonna be rocks down at the end for sure and uh, you know considering the fact that this is probably going to be uh you know a tourist destination that you know there's going to be a not really a lot of places for boats to hook up to uh or i don't know yet we haven't figured that out yet maybe if you guys help me with some ideas we'll come up with a better idea for that find out what's going on with this music So remember, you got to tell me if this stuff goes too loud. We're just mucking around here. So for my water, I'm going to be putting down construction paper, I think. Again. And uh, putting sand over top of that. Uh, and I'm doing that because uh, this foam stuff... Uh, leaches a lot of gas and the reason why I have the foam up this way with the channels in here is because I want to see uh, you know maybe it'll take a few years for it to happen but down at the end old of Old Bay District 1 you know it was done a certain way and then two feet over it's done another way so over here we're going to do it the way that uh, I think it should be done now and this is this is hindsight's uh, benefit here so I'm gonna continue painting the brake wall here so I know you can't see it but the texture of foam is still hardcore and it's got uh, uh, razor blade cuts in it and all that jazz but I don't think it's going to be a problem because we're going to be making the brake wall into like a multi-layered uh, structure there's actually going to be a little bit of texture coming out from here We're going to have a little field over here. Uh, I don't know if you guys were on last night to see the website getting built. I have a couple of things that I need to fix. A couple of the plugins aren't fixed up all the way. I was hoping to be able to integrate the Facebook group into it a little bit. Haven't really sorted that out yet. So instead of troubleshooting that stuff on camera, I figured I'd do a little bit of painting tonight. And what? A, let's get this out of the way. Oh yeah, so New Haven Rails, you got an ITLA kit in. 
Right on, Mr. Brights. Uh, by the way, uh, Ron Brights sent, sent me some clowns for the, the, the fair, the carnival, whatever you want to call it. You know what, that is a, a good idea there, Ron, about the uh, fishing pier going out into the lake. We'll have to see how uh, this section develops right here. Because I, uh, I'll bet you this little structure here will look nice on it. have to see things to develop so uh, I'm gonna be doing some more reviews for imagine that laser art uh, Ron if you if you put get your your model up on uh, YouTube uh, give it give me a heads up about it and uh, I'll talk to Nick and try to get him to get it on the website so you can get more views on your video uh, Nick by the way, I know him really well. I've known him for years since he bought the business. Uh, he lives just about uh, 20 minutes from my house. So give me a heads up when that build comes together and we'll, we'll get you some more views. Be happy to help. So. You know, I talk sometimes about uh, dry glue and cured glue. And this is kind of a good example of cure, of dried glue, or paint. Hey, Billy. Yeah, tackle shop on the pier, you're right. B. Um, so, and Billy, I'll, I, I've been work. I gotta fix something on that website before I invite you in to help with it. If you want to help with it, uh, so when you've got dried paint, the term dried paint to me means that on top it's crusted over a bit, it, but on the bottom it's still wet. And the effect is, is when you paint over dried paint it mixes so you can see that it's turned a little bit gray here because it's mixing up with my black however if I let this paint dry for 24 hours it would then be considered cured and uh, you know yeah I I challenge you to do that to see what the effect is because when your black paint is cured I'd be able to paint on top of it without any mixing whatsoever. So it's, it's kind of important when you're considering weathering on wood walls and stuff like that. Uh, what's the difference between cured and wet paint? Now... I can't take credit for that technique. Uh, it is a technique that I learned from reading uh, uh, It's a technique that I learned from reading Brett Gallant's instructions, uh, the Sierra West scale models. So uh, you know it's the benefits of these craftsman kits. When you buy the expensive ones, you get the top tier instructions, and that's what you're paying for. <laughs> funny guy. He's a funny guy.
This playlist doesn't go anywhere. We got four songs in the playlist? That's crazy. Okay. Let's try these guys. It looks like uh, I'm going to get a couple of visitors this weekend for the meetup. Sparky and Peter. Important to put the cap on these things, otherwise they screw up in the bottle for you.
That is Old Bay District 2 again. Let me look over. Let's, let's get the camera and the other camera. It's the second part of this diorama. No, that's the polyurethane stuff. Bill, I actually, I, you actually, you can glue foam with a uh, weld bond. Great, but I'm just using this stuff up because it really doesn't have a long shelf life, and I hate throwing stuff out. I, I literally, I literally hate it. Ooh, he swore! I might have to change this music. Do some metal? I don't know. I don't know if metal's gonna work.
check out what y'all saying. All I'm doing right now is I'm building a little ledge to glue my paper to to finish the so that we can get ready with our water do our next next section of water So some good news, I'm going to be start working next week for uh, the, our home in miniature land that I recently did a video for. Pretty excited for that because uh, I'll have a two- Cut it all off, so that's not going to be a problem.
is a funny thing. I had to call. Uh, the, uh, the the guy who owns Imagine That Laser Art, Nick Masney, also knows uh, my mentor, and I think that this guy has helped him out in his model, helped uh, Nick out in his modeling too, a bunch over the years. Joe LeMay. And we had a conversation about uh, Weld Bond Blue tonight. Uh, a couple of laughs we had about it. Because when you meet Joe, it's the first thing he tells you about, <laughs> about your modeling. He says, what kind of glue are you using? <laughs> and if you don't know, right away, you'll figure it out soon enough that he, he's going to teach you that you should be using Wild Bond Blue. And if you want to know why I spread it so much, is because when I met Joe, it was the first thing he said to me. What kind of glue do you use, Ron? I don't know. I use anything that comes my way. Maybe it's a uh, Elmer's glue. You know, I kind of like to eat that stuff when I was a kid. And he like, yeah, forget about the Elmer's glue. Get yourself some love fun, buddy. I'm running out of weights here. Sorry for mucking with that. My kids are in Catholic school, and uh, I'm just learning about intercourse now. Damn it. You know, at one time, you'd wait till they're 12 years old or something like that, and sit down and have a talk with them, but. She's 10 years old. Well, I guess she's 11. I don't like that shit. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you, I'm not <laughs> interested in that. No way, no how, bub.
Okay. Talk to you later, CB. I think I'm gonna call off, call it a night too. Glue's gotta dry and paint's gotta cure. You know, I'm talking about curing paint, right? We already talked about that. You, curing paint. Make sure the lid's on this stuff, otherwise, it'll go all foamy in the bottle on you. Especially if it's humid where you are. So thanks for watching everybody. It's an hour show. Ah. You know, most shows get done in an hour and that's it. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you're not liked and subscribed. If you're not liked and subscribed already, why not? That's what I have to ask about you. And if you are liked and subscribed, cheers. I just want to say that this channel is funded by patrons. Patreon.com slash Ron Perry. Links down below. I might have a new sponsor for the show. Uh, we'll have to see when they sign the dotted line because nobody gets a free go anymore. They don't give you a free go. They don't give me a free go. So I ain't going to give them a free go back. So, uh, might have a new sponsor. But the thing is, is I promise that they are, uh, uh the type of company that are really... I don't really take on sponsors who's going to compete with... The people that I review with. Like, I don't get sponsored by KC Workshops or or uh, Carolina Craftsman Kits or Imagine That Laser Art or, or any of these people. But, you know, I am sponsored by Helican Focus, modelersguild.com slash HF. Get 20% off a lifetime subscription to their update. You pay for it once, and until they die, you get free updates. It's a great program, and this weekend uh, I'm going to do a little demonstration with Sparky and, and uh, Peter. When they come on down here, I'm going to show them a bit about what that's all about and give them a couple of free codes for coming down. So, uh, you know, if you're interested in contributing back, you know, the information's down all in the details. I want to thank you for watching. So, good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Time to set this thing back into where it should be. I'm going to get over here again because I think that I cut the stream off early the other night. We're going to look. To make sure that the stream is done before I click the dang button. So, uh, well, hey, it looks like I just did that. Good night.